Hello and welcome to my channel, Intuitive Envisions 1111. Thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it and all your support for um, donations, uh, readings, and getting my uh, new deck. Uh, welcome to uh, the, those of you new just tuning in. This is going to be a general reading for the collective of uh, Twin Flames and Soulmates. Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Uh, when I refer to Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine, for those of you new on this journey, I'm referring to energies and not a specific gender. So you can be a Divine Masculine and be a female or vice versa. Okay, just take it how it resonates, if it resonates at all. If you find yourself with more questions than answers, it's probably not your reading. Uh, don't try to make it fit. Okay, I do offer a personal reading. So if you're interested in booking one of those with me, um, that information is going to be below as well as all these decks I'm using here. Uh, most of the items you see, including the jellyfish lamp, jellyfish are not real, are going to be below in the description. Um, with my Instagram information if you want to support the channel. Okay, so this topic is going to be about um, what is the divine masculine sure about when it comes to the divine feminine. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, and get some energy surrounding that. Um, just to see where he's at uh, currently uh, in this uh, connection when it comes to her and just, you know, what he's basically uh, sure about. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I'm just going to finish uh, shuffling the rest of these cards, even though I do shuffle them prior to coming on a video. Okay. I just like to let you guys see how spirit works. Um, also, I do have my uh, new deck. Available Intuitive Envisions 1111 Twin Flame Messages available for pre-order uh, for United States uh, buyers. Uh, if you're international, um, there's an email below of how to contact me so that I can so you can um, order for me. All right. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and get started. So this is the Spirit of the Animals Oracle. Um, basically, I'm using all oracles for this reading. Um, so I'm doing this kind of like how I've done um, in the past for this particular reading. So I'm going to get three cards from each of these decks. Orca, well, adventure. Dare to do things differently. Sing your wild song. Manifest your travel dreams. Attempt the great journey with confidence. Be loyal. Friends and families are your treasures. Be brave. You are more powerful than you know. So he, what I'm getting is he's sure that he wants to go into this adventure. He's wanting to, uh, you know, breach the surface and go out and explore um, from being in like almost like a safe haven uh, of what he's used to. And he's wanting to go out. And what she provides to him is uh, something different, something um, adventurous. And then we have dear love. So what he's sure about too, is that he loves her. So be gentle with yourself. You heal with the power of love. See the light in all things. Acknowledge your self-worth and grace. So he might also uh, be sure about that. Um, her love provides him a lot of healing because of what she has to, to offer. And we have wolf. But I don't think I said that. I think I said wolf. <laughs> a wolf. <laughs> I can barely say that. Okay. Wolf Pathfinder. Release your past and start a new journey. You are a teacher and help others find their way. There will be challenges, but your soul is strong. Perseverance is your secret power. You have a love that endures. So there's two references to love. So I feel that um, I'm, I'm picking up that she is also like a, a path finder. Um, when I say path finder, like she knows her path. She knows her path. Um, and when it comes to love, like she's sure about it. And then also that he's sure that she possibly has teached him, you know, shown him love, shown him the path uh, to this love. And um, he might be wanting to like embark on this new adventure. 
um, and maybe trying to figure out how does he release the past uh, energy in order to do that. Okay. But there is something that he's sure that your, your soul is strong. That's what I'm getting. All right. So let's go ahead and get three more cards uh, for each of the decks. This is a romance angel. Religious factors. Your life, love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So just two ways this can go with this particular card. He's sure that the way that he was brought up um, could have affected um, choices he's made when it comes to this connection, um, any type of challenges, because uh, it did mention challenge in that card too, any kind of challenges that might have uh, interfered with this connection. Could have been from how he was raised culturally, um, you know, religious type of things. Um, also, he could be realizing that this is a spiritual connection because it, it, it mentions here a spiritual path and we have Pathfinder right here. So I really feel like for most of you, this is about he knows this is a spiritual connection. And then that that's the path that he wants to go on. He wants to go towards this uh, spiritual path when it comes to you. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. See, again, there's the steps in his path. So he's sure that he wants to make the effort and that he needs to make the effort in this connection because great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. As you see, love, this is the path that he wants to be on, that he's guided to. worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life and he knows that you're worth waiting for that's what he's sure of so there could be some kind of uh situation or challenge that's preventing him to come forward right now but he knows that you're worth waiting for and he's being guided um spiritually towards this path to make effort because he knows your value that's what i'm getting this is the psychic tarot seven stand your ground so he's sure that he wants to um, stand his ground when this comes to this connection or he's feeling you're standing your ground and so that that's making him want to come towards you so you know these energies sometimes can be um you know they can vary it, it could actually even be your energy um but he's sure that he wants to stand his ground and follow this path Okay, is what I'm getting. Because seven is also a very spiritual number. Heart chakra. See, and this is his heart is open, is activated. Um, this four also indicates, you know, foundations. He's sure about the love that he feels because it falls right under love and make the effort that he wants to make this effort towards his heart, um, you know, towards this love. He's sure about how he feels about the divine feminine. And we have 11 right there, too. So I sense uh, spiritual alignment. It also could have to do with twin flame connections, but I'm, I'm picking up more of a spiritual alignment with that. What else is he sure about? Fertility. This is the Empress. So he's sure that she is the divine feminine. He's sure that she is the one. She's the one that holds, you know, and as you see this green area in this heart chakra that he's sure that he, she has his heart. She has his love. This is also about creation, you know, wanting to you know, create something new. But he is sure about her. He's sure about how he feels about her, that she's she's the one for him. OK, she's worth waiting for the divine feminine. I'm just going to put this here. I'm running out of room. OK, so this is the uh, soul journeys lessons card. Courage. I find the inner strength to face fear, 
with confidence. So he's sure about that. He needs to um, stand his ground when it comes to courage, when it comes to um, coming towards this connection. This is what he needs. He also could be seeing her as she's um, courageous and she has the courage and she's standing her ground when it comes to this connection, when it comes to this um, love um, and just knowing the, the connection, the path. But I feel like it's more that he needs to stand his ground and have the strength when it comes to Divine Feminine, if he's going to approach her. What else is he sure about? Abundance. Okay. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. So he's sure that she provides him with abundance, happiness, and love, that heart chakra. Nothing but, you know, pure joy. Failure. I understand that a mistake is only an a, a opportunity to learn. So he's also sure that, you know, he might have failed her. Okay. He might have um, let her down. Um, and this is the why he's needing to have courage to come for, uh, forward towards her. Okay. So he's sure that he made a mistake. Um, it says uh, a mistake. It's only an opportunity to learn. So I feel like he's sure that he made a mistake. He 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 failed this connection. Okay. He got off the path when it comes to the divine uh, feminine. These are the mystic moon oracles. Muse. So he's also sure that um, she inspires her I and mean, inspires him. Um, this is about create creation. You start anew, uh, you know, wanting to do something. It could be like a blank slate, starting over a blank slate. But he's sure that she um, inspires him. Okay, she sparks some type of creativity. Cre I cannot talk. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, she sparks uh, uh, sparks some creativity inside him. Inspires him. Makes him, um, you know want to do better um she's his muse okay and he's sure that she's his soulmate okay she's he's sure of this his heart knows it he feels it in his heart chakra that she makes him happy okay and um yeah he's sure And we have mirroring. So this is reflection. This is also twin flame energy. So he is also sure that, you know, they share the same things. They reflect each other. They're they're one in the same. Okay. So even if he doesn't know with twin flame connection, he feels that she reflects him. Like she's the perfect match for him. That's what I'm getting. Okay. There's mirroring. And they both could be feeling the same energy. So I'm going to get three cards from here for my Twin Flame messages. And uh, you're talking to me in my dreams. So he's sure that he's getting some type of signs from his dreams, that he's getting messages, uh, visions, uh, things of that. Because you're talking to him in his dreams. Okay. He may also see you as his dream, you know, his dream come true. And I almost picked up the phone to call you. So he's sure that he, because this falls under make the effort that he needs to communicate. Um, he needs to get out of this energy of almost it actually takes some type of action towards this, make the effort instead of just being in this almost. But he needs to pick up the phone and, and call you. This is what he's sure about. 
in order to make this happen, in order to express this. And he almost may be sensing that's what he needs to do. And this is what you're wanting him to do is to pick up the phone and communicate. Which could be the reason why he's needing courage because he may not have all of that at this current time. And I'm wide awake now. So this is my card of, you know, uh, being in that um, awake, ascending type of energy. So he's sure that he's wide awake now to this connection, knowing that you are the divine feminine, knowing that you are mirror souls. And this is the path that he wants to be on. OK, he wants he's trying to find this this path to this connection, trying to find that courage, that strength to stand his ground. But this is what he's sure about. He's sure that he's wide awake when it comes to the divine feminine and this um, connection. OK, all right. So um, that's pretty much it. Let me see what the timing is. OK, I'll go ahead and look at the the bottom cards because I was like, I'm not sure if depending on how far I'm in this connection. I mean, in this reading, I'll read the bottom too. What is he sure about? And we have personal choice. OK, so close your eyes. What animal do you imagine? What strengths are they known for? What wisdom do they share? Embrace these qualities. So he's also sure that um, that it's this is his personal choice. This is something that he desires with the divine feminine and that he has to make this decision. You know, he has to make a personal choice and choose her when it comes to this connection. Trust. He's also sure about that he needs to have trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. So he's also sure about that. When it comes to this connection, that's what he needs to do. And then we have relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So he knows that this relationship with the divine feminine is a relationship that uh, serves his highest good. And, you know, we do have that religious factors there about the spiritual path, something that is, you know, higher, divinely um, welcomed and uh, protected with the seven in the standard ground um, energy. And then we have uh, six, the third eye chakra, which is about intuition and six is about balance. He's also sure he knows intuitively that this connection is balanced. That is, is um, or that he needs to balance it. And that is, is spiritual. Okay. Is it possibly was not in balance before? And this is what he needs to do. He needs to balance it and he needs to follow his intuition. That's guiding him towards this um, balance. This is what he's sure about. And then we have conclusion and that he he needs to make a decision when it comes to this connection. OK, he needs to conclude this. He needs to make a choice. He needs to have faith and make a decision when it comes to love, when it comes to this um, path. Um, he needs to um, have the courage to make a decision when it comes to this uh, connection. OK, and I think one more card and that's it. And then we have, what are you doing to me? <laughs> so I designed this card is when someone is like, they don't understand like this, why they feel this way about this person. Why are they being so drawn to them? They have like such a, a spell over them and he needs to make a decision because he knows he needs to end this, trying to figure this out, trying to understand it. He already knows that you are his soulmate and that you make him happy and that there's love there. And he needs to, you know, make a decision and stop questioning it is what I'm getting. Okay, you guys. So that's what I have for you. Um, if you are, uh, if this resonated with you, please like comment or share. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe again. I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested in booking one of those with me or ordering my uh, new deck, um, intuitive envisions, 11, 11 twin flame messages. Um, all that information is going to be below as well as these decks I've used here. Most of the items you see. So I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Have a good day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And until next time, next video, peace, love, and light.